Ukraine is trying to disrupt the Russian offensive by attacking targets on Russian territory. Since the fall, Russian troops have had an advantage on the battlefield, which allows them to carry out offensive actions in different directions of the front in order to break through Ukrainian defenses, writes the New York Times. The publication recalled that Russia recently opened a new front in the Kharkov region, capturing several settlements and forcing the Ukrainian armed forces to retreat to other positions, after which the Russian army tries to take maximum advantage of the situation namely to break through the weakened Ukrainian defense. Pasi Paroinen, an analyst at the Finnish Blackbird Group, which analyzes satellite imagery and combat footage from the front, noted that Russia has captured more territory this year than it lost during Ukraine's summer counteroffensive last year. Part of Ukraine's strategy to disrupt this slow but steady advance is an ongoing air campaign against Russian facilities that supply fuel and other petroleum products for tanks, ships and fighter jets, the New York Times emphasized. Journalists recalled that on Sunday, six Ukrainian drones struck an oil refinery in the Krasnodar region of Russia, which forced the plant to stop work. Ukrainian troops also seek to undermine Russian energy, which is the basis of the Russian economy and military efforts. The United States published a report in which it noted that the actions of the armed forces of Ukraine knocked out about 14% of Russian oil refining capacity, so by mid-March, domestic prices for gasoline and diesel fuel in Russia increased by 20-30%. to Such data was collected from the end of January to the end of March. In addition, on Sunday, Russia announced that it managed to destroy nine Ukrainian missiles that were flying towards Crimea. The New York Times noted that Russia has turned the Ukrainian peninsula into a military logistics center for transporting troops and ammunition to the battlefield in the south of the country. The Russians are also using Crimea as a launching pad for launching drones and missile attacks. Earlier, a veteran of the Russian-Ukrainian war, retired National Guard Major Alexei Getman, said that Russia realized that they could turn Kharkov and Sumy into a grey zone, thereby creating big problems for Ukraine. Anti-regime Iranians in the country have celebrated the death of President Ebrahim Raisi who was killed in a plane crash in East Azerbaijan province. Images circulated on social media show people celebrating Raisi's death with fireworks. There are also reports of diaspora Iranians celebrating Iran's hardliner president's death. According to reports, Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, is increasing its presence in response to prevent an uprising. Meanwhile, women's rights activist Masi Alinejad declared today as World Helicopter Day and said this is the only crash in history where everyone is worried if someone survived. Also killed in the helicopter were Iran's Foreign Minister Hossein Amar Abdelayan, East Azerbaijan Governor Malek Ramadi Ayatollah Muhammad Ali Al Hashem, representative of Iranian Supreme Leader to East Azerbaijan. جشن گرفتن مردم به مناسبت سقوط رئیسی دارن فشفشه میزنه به به شلا به واقعیت تردیش Oh, yes. That's a good one. That's a good one. 